Hi everyone, my name is Mrs Orr and I'm the Head of Vocational Faculty. In the Vocational Faculty we offer lots of different subjects that you can choose to study in Year 10 and 11. We offer lots of different subjects that you've never had the opportunity to study before and some that you have had some experience of. If you pick those that you've had some experience of, then you'll get to study these in a lot more detail. The great thing about a lot of our subjects is that you can combine coursework and exams. Lots of students favour this because it means that you're not having everything put into your, your, your Year 11 exams and instead you can complete work throughout Year 10 and 11. Our subjects are also great because they are vocational and what that means is that they link to employment opportunities that you'll experience in the future. Now some of these link directly to careers, for example health and social care or travel and tourism. Hi, I'm Miss Hall and I'm one of the health and social care teachers here at the Manor Academy. At Manor you have the opportunity to study a level 2 BTEC in health and social care. More than ever, people are aspiring to work in the health and social care sector, whether that be as a nurse, a physiotherapist, a midwife or even a social worker. We have lots of students here at the Manor Academy who have studied health and social care at both Key Stage 4 and at Manor College. Some are now even moving on to train as nurses at university. Studying this course will give you an early insight into what it is like to start a career in these areas. At BTEC you will study three components. Two are assessed internally through coursework and one through an external exam. Lots of students here like this style of learning because they can complete work that counts towards their final grade throughout the course. However, this does mean you need to be prepared to work at your very best from the start and submit all of your assignment work on time. You will study a range of health problems and how these are tackled within the UK, along with how different factors can contribute to our health and well-being, both positively and negatively. How does our lifestyle choices, such as smoking or exercising, have an impact upon our health? You will also learn about how factors such as a person's income may affect their health and well-being. We will also look at how serious life events, such as going to prison, can impact our mental health and well-being. You will also learn about the skills and qualities that you need to work within health and social care. For example, when supporting service users who have disabilities, how can we make sure that their care gives them the dignity that they need? We will also learn about local services and how they meet the needs of individuals with varying health conditions. This course will provide you with the necessary knowledge and skills needed for Level 3 study. Health and social care at Manor is a really popular choice for students in Manor College. Lots of students like the course because they learn about things that they encounter in their everyday lives. We've also had previous opportunities to visit local universities to see the range of courses that health and social care can take you to. For example, Year 10 students can go to Sheffield Hallam University to explore their training facilities and talk to students who are studying midwifery and social work. If this sounds like the course for you, why not come and join us? If you're a creative student who likes to do design, then we have lots of different subjects for you. For example, art, design technology, construction and hair and beauty. All of these subjects are very, very different, but what's really good about them is that you are, have the opportunity to be creative and do practical work. Hi, I'm Miss Austin and I'm the design specialist in the art and design department here at school. There are lots of creative pathways that takes you from the art and design. That goes on to level three, A level, and also on to university. There's also opportunities to study apprenticeships in some of the disciplines that we study at GCSE, and which later you can study on at A level. Some of these jobs that are available for you to go into are product designers, fashion design, interior design, and architecture. Hi, I'm Mrs. Ferguson Harris, and I'm the lead teacher of art and design at the Manor Academy. At the Manor Academy, students have the opportunity to take GCC Art and Design. This is made up of coursework, which is 60% and 40% is made up of the exam project. The coursework unit is made up of two projects, one of which is identity. This gives students the opportunity to explore things that are of a personal interest. The second part is the exam. This is set by the exam board and we're given a number of themes to work towards. The techniques and skills covered in the course include drawing, painting and mixed media. We also do a little bit of Photoshop which helps students develop their ideas. In addition, students have the opportunity to look at historical and contemporary art and this also helps them to explore how to manage their time, techniques and materials safely. Design technology is one of our newest subjects that we're offering. If you're a student who likes to respond to problems with creative ideas, then this is a brilliant subject for you to choose. <laughs> Don't sell a problem. GCSE Design and Technology is a really exciting course. 
It's perfect if you want to go into any career in design, whether that's graphic design, furniture design, product design or architecture. It's a course which allows you to explore the work of others and use that as an influence for your own work. So within GCSE d and you'll work with a range of different materials such as woods, plastics and metals. The first project we'll do is skill sticks and you'll create a small sample of different practical techniques such as welding, vacuum forming and also wood joints. Another project we'll be working on is a lamp project where you'll work with electronics and create your own design based upon the designers that we research. In terms of extracurricular, we're really excited to be able to try and get out to a range of different museums, including the Design Museum in London, where we can use the work of others again as an influence for our own work. If you're interested in either construction in the built environment or GCSE design and technology, you can speak to me, Mrs Hibbard, or Mr Tallett for more information. If you've enjoyed food technology in Key Stage 3, then maybe you should opt for hospitality. This is where you'll carry on with your food studies, but move it into working in the sector. <coughs> hospitality industry is the fastest growing industry in the world. The hospitality industry will take you all over the world if that's something that takes you fancy. You can specialise in specific areas, um, surrounding chef work, so you can be a patissier, which was working with pastries and cakes. If you want to go into sports nutrition, dietitian work uh, for the NHS, within dietary work or specific roles that focus on dietary needs. The other side of the course is an internal exam, which is the coursework unit, where we'll be practicing lots of cooking skills so that you're able to create distinction level dishes. We create fun dishes like chicken curry, you'll also learn how to portion a chicken, you'll uh, also make delicious puddings like meringues, cakes and pies. Lots of students tend to really like this side of the course as it allows you to use your imagination and create dishes that you're really proud to take home to your parents. We also offer film studies. This is a subject that I recommend for students who have a genuine love for film. The reason for this is that you will explore not only modern day film, but films dating back to the 1950s and global cinema. Hi, I'm Mr Tallett. Uh, most of you will know me for teaching you some form of art, design or technology. Uh, what you might not know is that I also teach film studies at GCSE. With the GCSE film studies, we actually cover quite a lot more than you might think. It isn't just sitting around watching films and saying, oh yeah, that was a really good film. We actually look at what makes a good film, what makes films work, what makes it tick. We don't just look at, oh, that looks like a pretty picture on the screen. We look at how they actually make the shots, how they uh, frame the films, how they edit them together, how they get colour to send a message, how they use a red colour to, to convey horror, you know, that kind of thing. And to do that, we look at quite a few different films over the course of the two years. It's separated into two uh, sort of exam units. So the first one looks at Hollywood and how Hollywood has changed over the last 125 years or so. So we look at um, Hollywood from the start um, and how we had all the studios and things like that in sort of the 20s, 30s, 40s. And then we actually look at comparing two films made, one in the 1950s, which is Rebel Without a Cause, um, and then we look at Ferris Bueller's Day Off, which was made in the 1980s. And you can see how they are still incredibly similar, but also massively different in terms of the use of technology and, and how the technology changed in a relatively short time. From there, we then look at independent cinema within um, Hollywood and within the US. And for that, we study Juno. And we look at how journalism ties into film studies there and how the journalism actually plays a part in promoting these independent films. And that's your, your first exam paper. Your second exam paper is where we start looking at more international films. And uh, with that, we look at what they call global English language film. Uh, so for that, we will look at District 9, which is a South African film, uh, which deals with you know quite heavy topics in terms of uh, xenophobia and racism and things like that, but in a way that is much more accessible, uh, in a way that actually really paints a very clear picture of some of the issues that were present in South Africa uh, from the 1950s until the 1990s. And we look at how the filmmaker, how the director portrays these issues and how he gets these issues across um, without ever explicitly referring to what happened in South Africa um, historically. We then move on to a um, non-English language global film and for that we will look at one of two. We'll either look at the Japanese animated film Spirited Away or a Swedish horror film called Let the Right One In. 
They both are totally different films that show totally different elements of film, um, but both really representative of the cultures within which they're made. And I tend to decide that based on the class that I've got. And then the final film that we'll look at within that is the British film that's produced after 2010, and we look at Attack the Block, which is set in South East London, and it's set around a tower block. So uh, and we can look at the social issues uh, that are present in the UK then that are still present and relevant today. And we look at how filmmakers actually really get a, an accurate portrayal of uh, these sort of environments and these sorts of situations. Your final piece of well, the puzzle, I suppose, is the coursework, or you know, we might call it a non-examined assessment. And that is an extract of a screenplay from a, a given genre, and there are about seven different genres we can choose from there. And we'll also produce what they call a shooting script, uh, and then we'll do a critical evaluation of that. Um, and, and that, you know, those three elements, the, the screenplay and the two exam papers for your GCSE film studies. Okay, good afternoon and welcome to ICT. This video is going to show you a little bit about information technology as an option in year 10. The course is trying to give you the basic skills for project management, looking at how businesses use IT and to support them in their careers. You need to be able to manipulate data, and that data then drives businesses. As a business software, we're going to look at how this data is used, process it, develop it, and put it together into databases, spreadsheets, and combine the information into a more user-friendly, easy-to-use format. We need to think about the laws, GDPR, Computer Misuse Act and legal aspects around the use of ICT. Security is a big part with cyber security such a big topic these days. We we'll also look at cloud computing, cloud use of computers and how cloud computing has developed over the last few years, especially around with lockdown. So a little bit around the course. We do the BTEC DIT. There's two pieces of coursework and one exam worth 40%, which you can take twice to get the best possible grade. The coursework covers you building two user interfaces. First one is a music or football stadium, which is your choice. And the second one is a developing one, which is for a security or business company or a holiday company. So you can work out the income and outgoings and use automated processes within Excel to build them a fully user functioning interface. This is an exciting and interesting IT course, which is at the cutting edge of IT. You want to be able to develop new solutions, and this is the right course for you. You have the opportunity to learn about cyber security, malware, the dangers of the internet, as well as software and hardware requirements to be able to complete different tasks within the business. Also, insurance data stored safely on clouds is a very important point to think about. Cloud storage, cloud computing all enable safe and effective running of a company or school. So here's a little bit about the information in the course. If you decide to take it, then please come along, talk to myself by email or phone or in class as we help you decide on one of the most important career choices you can do.